Weekly update, Romans chapter 12, verse 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. What a week it has been. How has your week been? Our church, lockdown and reopening, commences on Monday, June the 1st. Our church buildings are now able to be used for small groups, a maximum, at least at this moment, of 10 people at times according to responsible social distances. We encourage them to be events where people are known by regular members and for regular ministry. So we're careful, for example, in not using the kitchen at this point of time. Containment of management of our health and care of one another. How do we go about booking at this time? You come through the office for Michelle starting next Wednesday and Michelle will supply for you all all that you're going to need to record those who attend for cleaning and hygiene, plus any other questions or responsibilities will be provided there. We're also sensitive to the fact that in Kaima, it's also reopening for traveling and holidays. We wanna be careful in our church buildings to best manage and be careful for others. May many be blessed. But then just as we go to this conversation of the update, there is even further news our Archbishop Glenn Davies delivered the latest news for us. We are officially advised we'll be allowed to reopen services for up to 50 people with appropriate social distance. Four square metres, I'm told, which is like two by two, isn't it? Two steps behind and forward or left and right. Imagine it that size and scale. But for this to happen isn't just something instantaneous. It will now take our wardens, parish councillors and staff preparing for this time. Please pray for us for wisdom and careful understanding. Kaima Anglican Church has great news, but so also has Kaima High School, the scripture, where Wiki, who teaches there on behalf of all our churches, it's now reopened that our Bible teaching is happening again in students at Kaima High School. Our volunteers are not able to enter at this time, but please pray for the gospel going out through Wiki and his teaching. But there's more to share as well that takes us a little further away from Kaima. You might recall last week we gave an update with India Gospel League and we've attached just as we've arrived now from the village in India, Sri Rajaya Thanda's latest news. But I thought in the next couple of weeks we might take a local trip together, a mission trip in 14 days time, a trip around Australia with our mission partnerships with BCA, Bush Church Aid, we will visit many churches and hear much about ministries across the breadth of our continent. You must be careful though to join us on this trip together around Australia that you might think about 14 days of isolation for the upcoming travel as you want to take a wonderful trip together. The Reverend Greg Harris, the National Director of BCA will provide for us under God's word the teaching on that day online. And also I invite you to be praying with us as we have heard in recent months that from Port Hedland, the Knights have concluded their ministry and moved to Melbourne. So please pray for us for wisdom as we seek to form a new partnership within BCA. Prayer. Prayer is the last of the updates today. A prayer day, the 24 hours of prayer at KAC. Saturday at 6 p.m. on the 27th of June, all night and all day until 6 p.m. on Sunday the 28th of June. More details will come through shortly. I invite you to join with us as we commit in God's prayer and words.